Lower Intermediate Series, Season 1, Lesson 1, Making an Appointment, Part 1. In this lesson, you will learn how to arrange a friendly meeting. This conversation takes place on the telephone. The conversation is between two friends, Joey and Mike. The speakers will be speaking casually. Let's listen to the conversation. Hello? Hey, Joey. This is Mike. Hey, Mike. How's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I've been busy with work. But I have some time this week. Do you want to grab lunch either Wednesday or Thursday? Sure. Wednesday works for me. Sounds good. Can we meet at 1230? How about 1215? Sure. Okay. See you then. See ya. What's first? To grab. To take suddenly. To seize. To grab. To grab. Next we have? To work. To perform a job. To work. To work. The next word is? Busy. Full of activity. Engaged in activity. Occupied. Busy. Busy. And next we have? To meet. To come together. To meet. To meet. The next word is? Either. One and the other of two. One or the other of two. Either. Either. Next we have? Sure. Having no doubt about something. Sure. Sure. The next word is? Lunch. Afternoon meal that comes after breakfast and before dinner. Lunch. Lunch. And the last word is? Week. Unit of seven days. Week. Week. Let's review some basics and go over the simple present tense. The simple present tense is used to talk about things that are true all the time or true now and not expected to change soon. Also, it is used to talk about things that happen often. We often use the simple present tense with frequency words such as always, often, never, and so on. Right. Regular verbs in the simple present tense follow the following patterns. We'll use the verb to stop as an example. In the first person singular, I stop. Second person singular, you stop. Third person singular, he stops. First person plural, we stop. And the third person plural, they stop. Remember that the conjugation for the third person singular changes depending on the verb. For most verbs, you just add an S to the infinitive or dictionary form as in the example. For verbs that end in S, SH, X, CH, add ES to the infinitive form. For example, She misses. He washes. It mixes. And he teaches. All have ES added to them. With verbs that end in a vowel followed by a Y, simply follow the regular rule. But for the ones that end in consonant followed by a Y, change the Y to I-E-S. For example, He buys is spelt B-U-Y-S. But he copies is spelt C-O-P-I-E-S. And as always, there are exceptions. That's right. Remember that the verb go becomes goes, do becomes does, and have becomes has. That's G-O-E-S, D-O-E-S, and H-A-S. Here are some examples from the dialogue. I have some time this week. Wednesday works for me. Can we meet at 12? 